Hello and welcome to the Meta YouTube channel and to this video showcase slash tutorial on my periodic notes slash note refactor plugin utilization case scenario workflow thingy. Um, how I basically use this plugin for all of my daily needs in addition to the note refactor plugin for all of its utilization. So perhaps we will learn something together here and perhaps you will be able to apply some of these ideas to your vault and see how my mind works. And as always, if there are any questions, please just write them down during the video and I will be able to address them in the future. So first of all, if I open the command palette of Obsidian and I write periodic notes, this is vital. This key, F6, open daily note. This is the way in which I think about using Obsidian every single day. This is the way in which I have designed my vault to be as seamless as possible for me to be able to think about simply one thing, which is to press the F6 button whenever I have any ideas during the day. So I made this uh, chart here for you to be able to see this visually. If I do have any fleeting ideas, any arguments, any insights or scribbling or anything else that I want to quickly capture, I immediately have my computer beside me and I press F6 and it immediately takes me to the daily note in the periodic notes plugin. And uh, what this button does is it opens and creates a daily note if it hasn't been created one yet based on a template and this is the template that I have defined for myself called journal daily. So this is what it looks like and if I'll just go back here to this note and let's just say that if I were to move this note that we have here called the 2022 10th uh, of eight, the 10th uh, 18th October week 42 um, if I move this note to the root folder of my obsidian vault so it uh, happens to be here now and I press f6 once more it will create a new note based on that template and we can see that quite uh, clearly here. It's right here. And if I go back to this one, it will open the old note. And if I press F6 once more, it takes me back. So let's just delete this and reverse what I just did and put this back. If I press F6 now, it will open this one. So that makes sense. So how do I do this um, in terms of my note refactor and how does this play out in my daily life so um, this for example is one i did today i just wrote down while watching a video but uh, this probably won't be developed further but i do however have a case on the wednesday uh, the 12th i did uh, a really good insight that i had uh, where i had an insight uh, into some of the aspects of my being in terms of my childhood and my veganism that really uh, struck me and I wanted to capture. So I did that. I opened my periodic notes and I wanted to write down all I did and I got it out of my system. And uh, now that I want to, let's say I want to develop this idea further, what do I do? This is where the note refactor plugin comes into all of this because it does a very special function, which is that it places uh, this note that you uh, refactor into a new note and gives it a uh, specified date. Oh, wow. It gives it a specified date uh, and a refactor note template that you can define for yourself. So if I select all the way from the heading down to the text that I want to be included into the refactoring process, and I open the command palette once again, note refactor. You can see there are several options here, but the one that I uh, have found to be of best utilization for me is the extract selection to new note option. First line as file name, control shift N. So again, if I select this and I press control shift N, that made a new note that now gets placed into the refactored note folder of my vault. 
and why would you want to do this? The reason that I do this is because now it gives me much easier uh, insight into all of my refactored notes in the tag pane of Obsidian, which is where I usually do all of my localization of my notes based on the tags that I design, uh, designate to my files. And you can see here that this is where the newest refactored note in my vault happened to be the child I once was. And uh, from there on out, uh, if I go back to that note that we refactored from, we can see that it has merely replaced uh, all of the content that we refactored into a internal link towards that note. So this all plays out very beautifully in my mind. This has been how I have developed this idea and this workflow uh, for myself uh, based on my usage and my use case scenario. And I found this to be very helpful for uh, letting me get all of my thoughts out of my mind and into Obsidian quite quickly and easily. And uh, again, it's just about remembering that F6 button to just open your daily note and to just use that daily note as a platform because every single day is a new opportunity to have fresh insights. And so if you base your thinking on the unit of time, uh, which is every single day, 24 hours, uh, it becomes much easier in my opinion. And uh, by doing so, you can quite quickly navigate back and forth between all of the ideas that you've had during your daily life. So I hope that was a little bit useful at the very least and that it gives you some insight into how my mind works and perhaps it will be useful for you as well. If you have any additional questions, if you need any help setting this up or any in-depth video on the settings and how I defined all of this for myself, how I set it up and why I set it up the way I set it up, please do let me know and I would be more than happy to create further content assisting you in designing and creating your dream vault for Obsidian. So with that being said, thank you for watching, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.